of you have probably seen one of these before, but do we actually know how to use it and what it does? This pulse oximeter can be a great addition to any first aid kit, and it's something that anyone can use. So if you're looking to build up your first aid kit and be prepared for any disasters that may come, join the crew. It's occurred to me that there's a lot of misinformation about first aid on the internet, and it's hard to decide who to trust. So I'm going to use my knowledge as an EMT and share with you what I know so that you can be prepared to make the best first aid kit for your family. Even an SBO2 sensor or a pulse oximeter is a great addition to your first aid kit because it allows you to check not only a person's heart rate, but also their oxygen saturation throughout their body. Basically, if someone's not getting enough oxygen, this is gonna tell you. You might use this in situations with asthma, pneumonia, respiratory distress, things like that. As you can see with this one right here, there's two numbers. The top number is your SBO2 number and the bottom number is your pulse rate, beats per minute. They come in a lot of different brands. I'll attach one that you can buy on Amazon below. This is the one I'm using for this video. But I have this Amazon one at home and it works just the same. Speaking of how it works, it operates basically by measuring how much hemoglobin in your bloodstream is carrying oxygen. The top number or the SpO2 level for most people should be around 94%. Anything lower could indicate that they are not getting enough oxygen. However, there are individuals that live beneath this threshold normally. People with COPD, for example. They may sat normally in the 8990s. This is normal for them, but for the average individual, that may indicate oxygen deficiency. Another tip on how to actually use these. So as depicted in this image, they clip onto your finger. Once on your finger, it emits infrared and red light through your finger, and it measures the wavelengths absorbed by the blood. So without getting into the nitty gritty, what that means is you want to be putting it on a clean finger. A finger with blood or nail polish or acrylic nails may have a misreading because those things could potentially block or lead to a misreading of the light. Now, of course, I'm not a doctor, and these are just tips for your first aid kit to do what's best for you. Hope this helps. Bye.